Yeah, it is pretty quiet now that you mention it. Well, not just that, but except for roll call, I haven't seen anyone this morning. Not even somebody walking on the street. Nothing. Come to think of it, neither have I. Even that drunk guy that lives in the stairwell of my apartment was gone this morning. And he's always there. I don't know why we're even out here. It's not like we can see anything. Is there some kind of holiday we don't know about? Like Labor Day or President's Day or something? Um... Oh, wait. I guess not President's Day. Yeah, I was gonna say. Now that we're living under an alien dictatorship, they probably don't care too much about President's Day. Yeah, well, we were both there before the collapse. Still get things mixed up. Plus, we're in Europe now, too. Oh, yeah. What country did this used to be before the aliens took over? I can't read any of the old signs here with the Russian lettering. For all I know, they're saying my mother's ugly. I'm pretty sure this used to be Bulgaria from looking at the signs. And they're not Russian. They just look similar since both languages use variants of the Cyrillic alphabet. But you know Bulgarian? A little bit. Where did you learn that? I get around. Bulgarian. Incredible. Hey, look, a crow! Oh, don't shoot it, man. I wasn't going to. Crows are one of the smartest birds there are. Exactly. I was watching this nature program on TV a couple weeks ago, and they were talking about these crows that live in the city. They were eating walnuts or something, except their shell was too hard for them to crack with their beak. So what they were doing was dropping them on the road, and then waiting for cars to run it over. <laughs> hey, that is smart. Well, that's not the half of it. They do this at intersections since there's always a lot of traffic there. But the problem is that the cars are always moving, so they can't land safely to pick up the nuts. So how do they eat them? Well, what they do is drop it on the crosswalks, let the cars run over it, then wait for the lights to change so they can swoop down and eat the nuts. Wow, that's really smart for a bird. For a bird? I mean, I'd be impressed if some people on the force could figure out how to do something that complicated. <laughs> yeah, like Barney. Barney. And Barney's such an idiot. Oh, that's right. You haven't heard about the latest trouble he got into. Oh, yeah? Get this. He was supposed to check out the store alarm that went off by... What the hell was that? You think it's a dog? I have never heard a dog make a noise like that. Yeah, me neither. Well, let's go check it out. It's not like we're doing anything here. So what's this about Barney? Oh yeah, so he gets a call for a store alarm that turns out... Hey, uh, speaking of pain, you sure you're okay? 
Yeah, I got lucky and rolled up on the hood. I think it would have broken my legs if I hadn't. Wow. I guess you're getting your money's worth out of that body armor, huh? I love our uniforms. All the fun of a motorcycle accident without the road rash. I swear to God, you must be living a borrowed karmic time or something. Well, hey, let's go figure out what that sound was. It can't be any worse than that driver. Let's take the sidewalk this time. Uh, yeah. Whoa, this is new. Looks like some sort of construction job. Guess so. Nice of them not to leave any cones or lights. That's a safety violation. Let's see if we can find the foreman so we can give him a ticket in front of his workers. That should piss him off pretty good. Ooh, I want to ride it. This place looks abandoned. Yeah, that's weird. If it was a construction project, then why would they leave their tools lying all over the place? This format's a joke. Wish I could just stand around all day and yell at people, not even care what happens. How come you don't have your flashlight out? Because I'm an Aquarius. What? You heard me. <sighs> Forget it. Hey, let's check this room out. Civil protection, open up! Is it open? I guess so. Huh. Looks like some squatters living down here. Not a bad setup, actually. It's nicer than my apartment. I hope he comes back while we're here. I love the look on people's faces when they find a cop searching their place. It doesn't even matter if they've done anything. That look is a real perk of this job. This guy doesn't even have anything worth stealing. Uh, I think you mean confiscate, Dave. Whatever, I'm never gonna get rich at this rate. Yeah, you're right. You're not gonna get rich being a cop. Even if you did find some contraband, we'd have to turn it in as evidence. Change his own. You've been hanging out with Eddie too much. Hey, I found a journal. Neat. Anything interesting? Let's see. September 26th. I am uncertain as to how I will secure funds to pay my rent. I face the reality of an eviction come the end of the month. Oh boy, I know that feeling. I have no job prospects and thus the situation remains grim. With, With no, no kin nearby, I shall be turned to the street. Forced to live among the rabble like a beggar. I fear for my fate. 27th of September. An exciting discovery. While wandering the streets looking for work today, I came across a curious new hole inside the old Miskatonic Tunnel. I ventured inside, and found a network of tunnels inside of it. It looked to be completely abandoned, despite having working electricity and plumbing. I simply must investigate this further. 28th of September. I spent most of my day exploring these tunnels. 
I still have no clue as to the extent of their size or what their purpose is. My best estimate is that they were an unfinished fallout shelter that has since seen some improvements. They are completely abandoned, hold for the occasional rat. I also found a sizable store of canned goods that will reduce my living expenses considerably over the next few weeks, if not months. I even found what appears to be a living quarters, complete with bedding and a work table. For someone in such dire need of finances as myself, these tunnels are becoming most attractive. Twenty-ninth of September. My time is waning. In two days the rent will be due and I shall be tossed out like an unwanted infant. I think my path is clear. With no signs of life at the Miskatonic Tunnel, I shall commence moving all my possessions there tomorrow before my landlord arrives expecting his ransom. Come October morning, I shall be nothing more than a ghost to him. Open the door! It's your landlord! 30th of September. Today has been a weary day, moving all my belongings but I have finally settled in. I shall write more when I regain my strength. Second of October. I must say I feel like a bit of a mole living in this subterranean abode, but it has given me far more comfort than any dwellings above the surface ever did. Here I have ample space, privacy, and plenty of food to sustain me. It's the best move I've ever made. I've taken up residence in what was apparently a living quarters for whatever this place was. It has a curious design, as it looks to be an antechamber of sorts. On the opposite side of the entrance of the room, there is a very large steel door designed to handle heavy stresses. When I opened it, it connected to even more tunnels, except that these were simply dug out and completely unlit. If time permits, I may explore these rear tunnels to see if they lead to anything. 4th of October. Perhaps all this time below ground is getting the better of me. I could have sworn I heard a most peculiar noise last night. An unusual howling, almost. I suspect it to be some sort of animal. But what exactly? I don't know. 5th of October. I awoke from my sleep to hear some sort of scratching sound on the steel door to my room. I opened it expecting to find a rat, but to my surprise there was nothing there. Is this place getting the better of my senses? 6th of October. There is most definitely something else down here. I was awoken in my sleep again, this time by a muffled pounding sound against the door. I was fearful of opening it, but did so cautiously. I cannot be certain, but I thought I saw the shadows of something run off. I think that... Damn it, there's that noise again! October 7th. The interruptions to my sleep are becoming insufferable. I am going to explore the rear tunnels today to determine the source of the peculiar noises. I shall report on my findings as soon as I return. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. What? The rest of the diary is nothing but smear marks on the pages. It looks like dried blood. That was his last entry. But that was over a week ago. If that was his last entry, who went and lit these candles? <laughs> Hello? This is bad. Sounds like somebody's in trouble. Want me to call it in? Yeah, we might need backup. This is Unit 5 to dispatch. Do you read? Can you reach him? No, it must be this tunnel blocking the signal. Ah, forget it. They'll probably take an hour to get another unit here. And somebody might need our help right now. Well, let's go then. Yes.
that? Did you see that? No, what was it? Looked like a flash of light, I guess. Not sure. Hey! Anybody there? This is civil protection! Let's go check it out. Nothing here, man. I don't understand it. I know I saw something. Maybe it's just light reflecting off a rock. Nah, it was something different. I know that much. We better check the side tunnels so we can find out what that screaming was. I normally say to split up, but these tunnels are a maze. Plus, our radio range is probably pretty weak. You take point. I'll be behind you. Got it. Yeah, I saw it too this time. Let's try and catch up with it. Follow me. We've got a dead body, and Dave's missing. Why'd he have to leave? Now we have hard evidence! We can arrest anybody we want! This is just what our quotas need! So, of course, Dave's gonna screw this up! Hmm, I guess I'd better be careful. There might still be somebody in trouble. Plus, it's too easy to get lost, and no one knows we're down here. I'll just head back outside so I can radio command to get some backup down here. Then we'll all try and find Dave and whoever else is down here. Hmm. If Dave ran back to loot that shack while I wasn't looking, I'm gonna zap him with my stun stick. trouble back in these tunnels. slammed the door on me with that stupid grin on his face. We'll see how much he's smiling once we get him in a detention center. Man, where's Dave? This would be a lot easier if he wasn't off clowning around. Well, there's still a lot of unexplored tunnels. There's probably another entrance. I mean, Dave has to be down here somewhere. I'll just find Dave, then we can figure out another way out of here. I have to admit, if you were gonna get rid of a body, this sure looks like the place for it. Whatever this place is. I feel like I'm in an ant farm. 
Hey, I have a grenade. Maybe I can blow that door open if I wedge it in on the side. I'd better find Dave first, so then we'll have two grenades. Plus, it would be nice to have a witness on this before I blow up the side of somebody's home. Yeah, try to shut me out. That guy will find out what happens when civil protection comes a-knocking. What the- Yeah, it's my girl said, Margaja is too much. 